Hello everyone, we will continue the topic with debugging and in this video, we will start with update debugging. Now, what is update debugging? It is used to debug the code which is written using update task or which is written using update task. Whenever you will see some code which is written using update task at that time, if you want to debug that code, you cannot debug that code using normal debugging. So far, what we did, that is all about normal debugging. We cannot debug that code using normal debugging at that time. If you want to debug that code, you need to go for update debugging. You need to own the update debugging and after that only system will allow you to debug that code. Anyways, there's no need to go into detail. What is update task? How we can go for update function module? Anyways, we have a dedicated topic in the additional ABAP concept playlist where you can learn the topic update function module and update task in full detail. Here we have only only target is if you want to debug or some logic is there which is written using update task, how how you can go for debugging or how you can go for update debugging. This is our major motto of this particular video. Suppose I will go for simple example. Suppose I have this program. In this program, if you see, this is the function module. This function module, we are calling normally, we are not using update task. After that, have you seen we have this function module and we are calling in the update task. So if I want to debug this function module, if I want to debug the code which is written into this function module, I cannot use normal debugging. If I will simply, simply debug, system will never allow me to debug this particular code. System will not help me to debug that code. In that case, you need to own the update debugging. And after that, only you will be able to debug this particular code. Suppose I will go for practical tab. I am putting a breakpoint. I will go for run. Suppose I am going for some sales order number. Suppose I will go for any sales order number. I will go for execute. I am just showing the demo, yes. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now, as of now, this is normal debugging. This is normal debugging. And this is our function module, which we are not calling using update task. So if I want to go or if I want to debug the code, which is written inside this function module, I will simply, simply do F5. Have you seen this is the code inside the function module and we are able to debug. Suppose if I want to come out F7. Now, now you want to debug the code which is written inside this function module. But this function module we are calling in the update task. Now, if I will do F5, have you seen? We are not going inside the function module. If I want to debug the code inside this function module, how how we will debug that code that is our major motto in that case you need to own the update debugging so how you will own the update debugging i will simply run again suppose i am going for input i will go for execute now i will simply simply desktop 3 most preferable desktop this function module, we will be able to debug. Now I will show you how, how you can own the update debugging. You need to go to settings, change debugger profile slash settings. You need to select the checkbox update. 
debugging and go for save settings. Now this function model, no problem, we will debug. Now, now I will do F5. Now I am doing F5. Now people will say, just now you enable the update debugging, but still the control came onto this particular statement. Why the control has not gone inside the function module? This is what we enable the update debugging. Just remember, SAP always, always call the logic which is written in the update task at the last, at the last and it always, always trigger after the commit work. Have you seen in this program, I have written the statement commit work. So whatever the logic you have written in the update task, it always, always trigger after the commit work. Or you can understand it always triggers at the last. Just now when we started the debugging, we are able to execute this code. But we are not able to execute this code. We own the update debugging, but still we are not able to go inside this particular code because this code will trigger at the last and it will always, always trigger after the commit work. Anyways, because you, we have a dedicated videos, I have almost 9 to 10 videos on update function module and update tasks. From there, you can go for full, full detailed learning. Our major motto of this particular video is if you have a logic written in the update task, how, how you will debug that particular code. <clears throat> now, whenever commit work will execute, now I am doing commit work. Now you can see we are getting a message update debugging has been triggered. Now system will again enter into the debugging mode. And have you seen now system enter into the function module. This function module will call in the update task. If I will show you the code, <clears throat> you will understand. If I will go to the program, you can see this is our program. And now system enters into this particular function module, particular function module Z update underscore table. Now we will be able to debug this particular code. Previously, we are not able to debug this code because update debugging is not there. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained how you can go for update debugging or what is update debugging. Update debugging is used to debug the code which is written using update task. After that, I showed you one demo program. In that demo program, this is our normal function module which we are not calling using update task. So we are able to debug that code. After that, when I came here and I did F5, at that time, a system is not going inside this particular function module. So if you want to debug the code, which is written inside this particular function module, firstly, you need to own the update debugging. But after on the update debugging also, I'm not going inside the function module because SAP, whenever you will go for execution, SAP will not trigger the code which is written in the update task. SAP will trigger the update. SAP will trigger the code which is written using the update task at the last. It always, always triggers after the commit work. And in the update function module additional ABAP concept playlist, we have a dedicated topic on update function module update task. There you will get the full detailed understanding why we are going for update task. What is update function module? That's a different topic itself. But here our major, major motto is how, how you can go for debugging of code, which is written in the update task. In the next video, we'll go for simple demo. We will create a function module or we will call that function module in update task. And I will show you, yes, 
how how we can go for update debugging so that you can at least try a sample program so that's it in this video thank you